Alrighty guys, I'm gonna make this video because some of you know, some of you may not know. This is a 2 by 12 I built and I was just checking it for a customer. But this is in good shape. Matter of fact, it's, the guy that built it is doing a pretty good job. I was kind of proud of it when I say I opened it back up. But anyway, don't tell him I said that. It's a nice one. But anyway, long story short, alright. What this video is about is remote wires. Right now I've got power lamp. Alright. Now this is a remote jack, standard remote jack everybody uses. I've got some a little money fancier in this now, but you know this one works. All right. Okay. You've got a wire that runs to 12 volts, and you've got a wire that runs to the relay. Now let me show you something. What they do is when you turn, plug it in, turn your remote on, it touches these two pins together right here. All right. And then I turn on your end. No problem. That's the purpose of it. So all it does is replaces the switch. Don't matter if the switch is on or off. They both do the same thing. And I just want to show you guys how they work. So these two touch together, turns the amp on. Which most of you know that. I mean, I'm not trying to call nobody dumb or nothing like that. But you know, this is something that I didn't used to know. All right, now let's say you got your air out and you're putting it in. You got in your car. Now it's time to replug your remote in. You do not plug this in with your hot wire hooked up. You always unhook the DC power from your amp before you plug your remote in. Let me tell you why. On your tip, this is ground. When it comes in, it's going to short for a split second. Okay? Now this right here will show you how it shorts. If you push it in slow, say my stuff try to kick on, it's because it's shorted right there. When it first comes in right there, let me hot, let me get it hot again. I'm gonna show you. Right, I'm gonna get the amp hot again. Just load the caps. I don't want to. All right, the caps are loaded. Now you watch them fans. And when you come in with this slowly, if you don't come in with this fast, for a split second it shorts the ground. So always, folks, before you go and put your Put your uh, plug in. See, watch it right here. So when it comes in, it's hot. For a second, that tip hits that hot wire. And it can be hot. And it also depends on how the remote's wired. You know, who uses which way. But just for reference, just be on the safe side. Man, just don't, 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 don't. When you put your amp in, plug this in before you apply DC power. And you come over here, apply your DC power. All right, then your remote's on. So that whole line's got 12 volts in it, so it's like some light slide up. So if you pinch that line anywhere or whatever, you can cause problems. But I just want to show you guys that. And I want y'all to realize do not unplug or plug this in with the amp hot. You come over here and unhook it, then unplug it and plug it in. It's just a lot safer. Have I always done it? Yeah, I got by with it because you can come up here and you can have it hot and you can jam it in real fast and no fun, no longer in short to the work. But if it uh, if you was to get slow or something and not get in there real fast and it's sit there and burn, it'll burn all these wires going to the relays and everything, make a big mess you don't want to fuck with. So before you plug your remotes in and out, Let's hook your DC power. All right, folks. I hope this helped you guys out. I didn't used to know this, so I'm assuming everybody don't know it. Some people knows it. Some people probably, well, he's stupid for making a video like that. Well, maybe. But I didn't used to know it. I used to plug them in hot all the time. Hope that helps y'all. Everybody have a good evening. Your friend Tim, 018 Booze. Catch you later. Bye-bye.